Hello everyone, it's Quest Crunchers here today, and we are back with a Starfield news roundup kind of thing. So, let's get straight into it. So there's been a massive patch, uh, I think about 15 gigabytes, that's been deployed on like Xbox and PC. So we're seeing like the, it's been updated, so the number is, I believe it's 1.7 something now. So it's like the, the game is still being updated, which shows that it's like, we're almost getting there, it's almost good enough hopefully that means that's the day one patch just being deployed early so we can literally just you know pre kind of download it pre-install it and stuff like that and then literally when they send the signal to be like hey it's time to play we downloaded like a little bit of patch or something and then we get to play so that's that's really cool that it's been done already and I'm really excited so hopefully you know Come uh, sort of Thursday morning, well Friday morning at 1am I'll be playing the game and it'll be an absolute fun time and I'm so excited. So uh, we also got the voice actors revealed which is pretty cool. So we're um, playing Sarah Morgan as Emily O'Brien, uh, playing Barrett as Barry Wiggins, playing Samco as uh, Alice Tugs Fixes, <laughs> I butchered that, I'm, I do apologise, and playing Andrea is a uh, sissy jones mateo is carl uh, carlos flades and uh playing noel noel uh is uh dana guerrera i believe that's how you say your name i do apologize if i butchered the names but uh, <laughs> i'm terrible at pronouncing any kind of name really um uh, and there was also like a, a few murmurs going around about uh, starfield modders are planning a massive patch already uh, hopefully some modders have like gained access to like uh a pre you know a pre-build or something like that and i've been playing the game and be like hey we need to fix that because uh, i do believe bethesda like interacting with their modders and stuff actually uh, with the rumor of having a sort of a creation club thing going on uh, on starfield it probably won't be there on launch because the they probably don't want the controversy they just want it you know the game that you can play and then later on they probably introduce it as it did with Skyrim or Fallout 4. I'll be very but of course the links are probably already there kind of thing. And then we move on to the uh, leaks controversy about the loading screens between areas. Although apparently it's not as it seems from the leaked footage and stuff like that. It may be uh, sort of, you know, uh, fake, <laughs> but not, but it's like, it's not accurate, but it's, it's you know, there's a little bit of this and that and then someone was arrested for like selling copies of skyrim and stuff like that I posted on social media you're just like oh what are you doing of course you gotta get arrested and stuff like that if you if you do silly things like that oh dear so uh, early access is actually you know it's not far now it's uh, as recording of this video it was a uh, two days and 15 hours um, so that's really <laughs> it's so close. I'm getting very excited because I just haven't sat down and played a uh, like played a game and and got immersed in the world. Like with Baldur's Gate, it was really it's really fun. But um, constantly because I'm playing on controller, every time I go through a loading screen, it pulls the camera so far back from my character that immediately goes, oh yeah, I'm playing a game, aren't I? <laughs> and it's like, oh, because I like to move around right behind my character in you know, like a third person. So I'm like follow him, following him over the shoulder. It gives like a sense of immersion like the Witcher did and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, it, it keeps on popping back, which is really annoying. But uh, hey, -ho, we'll, we'll get there in the end. <laughs> Hopefully there's a mod that just clamps it together. Uh, and then Starfield has a new game plus. The, like, literally, this is the first time in a Bethesda game and... This is really interesting. It sounds like it's tied to the story somehow. I discussed this in my previous video, but it's I'm I'm really compelled to what it is, and I'm not gonna lie. It's a feature that has been needed in Bethesda games for a while now. I remember playing Skyrim, and I always go, "Oh, I wish I could just load up, you know, like a previous character. Maybe have the option to change, like you know, like uh, race and uh, you know some features and stuff." Just to, you know, so I can start the game at, you know, a high level and then go through it again and enjoy it, hopefully with, like, harder enemies and stuff. So I am, I am very interested to see what that, you know, what that entails. Hopefully it means it gets a little bit harder. And Pete Hines says the game does actually start until, or get going, until you complete the main quest, which is quite surprising. <laughs> it's a, 
I, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Like, it's a... Uh, or does that mean, like, you unlock all your potentials and you can get everywhere then? Maybe. I don't, I don't know, but... Uh, it sounds it sounds really really interesting and uh, apparently what we've seen is only a slither of what's you know sort of on offer so it's like oh so there's a plenty plenty of stuff to play and uh, I'm, I'm really glad that we haven't seen you know like big you know like main quests and stuff you know details as well as like side quest details but i i do imagine they've you know, they really tried, hopefully, like, hopefully this game will be, like, not a Morrowind, but it'll be Morrowind-esque, meaning, like, this is, like, this is the guy that will, this is the game that will do wonders for the studio and stuff like that, that will truly make, you know, but, but Bethesda back into our good graces and stuff like that, because with 76, it sort of fell out of, uh, good graces with like you know there was controversy after controversy which is pretty annoying um because they, they really should have been you know more open and transparent so yeah there's still there's still a bit of this uh i'm very excited but at the same time you know gotta you know don't want to be disappointed kind of thing so it's like yeah i'm gonna try and not get too hyped but at the same time it's a brand new open world it's in space, it looks really cool, and it's kind of one I've been wanting for a little while. I mean, I do want, uh, you know, <laughs> my medieval games, but this is, like, really, like, it just makes me really want to play this game because it's so interesting. It's a, you know, it's a space game, and I don't really play space games. The last space game I played was Mass Effect 3, so it's like, uh, and I've tried a few others, but I haven't completed it, but, the, like, the actual one I've, you know, ever completed was... Uh, Mass Effect 3 and that was fun, but this is more of a like, you know, not as Futuristic I feel but it's it's very Grounded within our reality, which is cool. It's the I think it's the thing I find more believable than Mass Effect Even though Mass Effect was a very immersive game And then Pete Hines goes <laughs> on to say like you can expect to put like 150 hours into this game Which is amazing. <laughs> you know, like I said, I really want to get lost and a really cool open world, so I'm very excited for this. And then, the uh, there's been a bit of news saying, you know, the trailers we've seen, they've been very jittery, haven't they? So, in order to, you know, apparently to alleviate our sort of fears, apparently it's just the jittery was caused by poorly rendered and all captured sort of gameplay, which is quite surprising, because people say it's actually, like, buttery smooth and really really nice to play which is oh yeah it's really good to hear i'm hoping it runs really well on my uh on my computer which i'm hoping hoping it will but unfortunately they've decided to partner with uh, amd for all that stuff whereas i'm with nvidia so i don't get the dls and and all that stuff which is a bit it's disappointing but at the same time i'm sure the i'm sure my computer would run it well without to be honest so um I'm not really, not really worried about it. Now, I just want to give a quick warn warning because there's going to be a lot of leaks and spoilers and stuff like that going on the internet this week, probably. So do, you know, you know, don't go on TikTok. Don't be scrolling through shorts. There's probably going to be so much leak gameplay and leak story because this just, you know, it's the internet <laughs> stuff loves to happen and all that jazz. So... Uh, that's that's your you know friendly reminder like right, this is a really big week for Bethesda and I wish them all the best for the launch I hope it's gonna be an amazing game uh, filled with everything that we want from a Bethesda game so <laughs> I really I really hope that it's all that we expected and all with that we wanted um, I mean within realistic boundaries of course this is still a game in the you know in the 20th century kind of thing so it's like you know it's uh it's still, you know, going to be gamey and feel like a game. So yeah, and then, uh, and then just some channel news. I'm going to be streaming it as soon as it, as it's available. So 1 a.m. British British Standard Time. Uh, basically, when it launches, I'll probably do like half an hour early, sort of be like, hey, it starts in half an hour and stuff, and then wait for it to down, you know, kind of get the download thing, and then, uh, you know, then I'll be. Uh, 
waiting for it and then playing through it. Uh, hopefully you'd all be awake <laughs> to uh, give it a watch because uh, it, it should be it should be really fun. Like uh, will uh, my character will uh, look a bit different. <laughs> I've uh, worked on him a little bit, so uh, he should. It should look be looking very spacey, <laughs> so it should be good. Uh, so and then after that, expect some lore videos, reviews, and Starfield content. So yeah, that's the video. That's the news roundup and a little update on my channel. So uh, yeah, please like and subscribe to keep in tune with all the Starfield information guides and all that. And I'll be probably showing you all the things I encounter, just so you. You know, you kind of know and stuff like that, and you get excited for it because I'm really excited. I think it's going to be a great game. So, yeah, let's be very positive and fingers crossed. <laughs> right, I will see you in the next video. Please like and subscribe. This has been Quest Quenchers, and I'll see you soon. I will be streaming this week too, so just to test my rig out. <laughs> right, I'll see you. Goodbye.